This is the first laptop review I've done in this new studio. So this is the Legion 5 Pro from Lenovo. Very popular laptop. The one last year, very popular device. The one before that was also a really popular device. And I think Lenovo at this point has figured out that they have a product line, a Legion 5 series set of devices that people just look forward to. And well, there's stuff to talk about. So I'm gonna keep the technical review or the technical portion of this review short. It does not need to be long. It's an excellent machine in terms of its technical capabilities. It's got a Ryzen 5800H, very powerful processor paired with an RTX 3070 that's being fed 140 watts. This is one of the most high powered RTX 3070s you get in a laptop and it's fed nicely, pumps out great performance with very acceptable temperatures. These are numbers that would make even sweaty laptop nerds sweat a little bit more in excitement. Uh, and when you pop this thing open, you can see that they've added a fairly beefy thermal system on this device. And the screen is all new this year. So it's a 16 by 10 aspect ratio. It's just a little bit more vertical room. So on the top and the bottom, and it's bright, color accurate, really fast in games. It's an awesome, awesome screen. Now I will say that for the people that are unfamiliar with the benefits and negatives that come with 16 by 10 aspect ratio screens, the benefits only exist for productivity. If you like viewing websites, doing work, that vertical space is nice, but when you're playing games, it doesn't make a difference. If anything, there's just now black bars on the top and bottom and same with viewing content. But the overall display is fantastic, especially with how bright the display can get. Now I wanna move this conversation away from the technical stuff to what I think was the way more important conversation about like a user experience. Cause this is stuff that I would care about. If I was gonna buy this, if I was gonna spend real money on this device, this is the conversation that actually matters. Because let's be real here, in 2021, who is making a bad gaming laptop anymore? They're all so good that the actual kind of performance metrics, they just mean so much less now than this stuff did two years ago. So what does matter is the actual user experience. I'm gonna start off with the conversation about weight. The cooling system is chunkier. It's a heavier laptop than ever before when it came to the Legion 5. So this comes in at 2.55 kilograms, almost 2.6 kilograms. It's heavy, you'll notice it. The other thing, the AC adapter, 300 watts, it is big and kind of heavy. Like this thing is another kilogram. If you're carrying them together, like if you need to bring your AC adapter to work, to school, it's a 3.5 kilo package, it is, strangely heavy for a laptop. Also, I'm not sure why they put a 300 watt adapter for all the devices. Like this is coming with an RTX 3070, even though it's a very powerful GPU, it doesn't need a 300 watt adapter. And even if you get the 3060 equipped one, you're still getting this huge, huge adapter. Like there are companies out there that sell an RTX 3060 equipped gaming laptop with 180 watt adapters. This is 300. Now in terms of the laptop itself, part of that extra weight comes from the beefy cooling system we saw earlier, but it's also just a bigger device this year than before. It's got the bigger screen, so it's just a bigger footprint, there's more material, and it's also metal on the top lid, like this used to be a polycarbonate lid in the previous models. This is a metal lid now. So it's just a heavy device, and if you don't care about weight, like a lot of people are at home right now and they don't really travel that much with their device, then it doesn't matter. But for the people that want a laptop because they want it to be portable, this is definitely one of the heavier packages that you can pick up in this space. Uh, why did I put it down? I wanna show you something else in the front. Okay, the next thing I wanna talk about is this logo, this Y-shaped Lenovo logo. It, for the people that are wondering, I just recently figured this out. This isn't official, but I think that this symbol is representative of a helmet, like a Spartan Legion helmet. I noticed this because the SIM card removal tool that they have with their phones was shaped like a helmet. And I was like, is that what this is supposed to be? Anyways, okay. So this light up logo is, it's a very gamery, it's it's not for me. I mean, some people might like it, but I think in this day and age, most people would rather have gaming laptops that have more muted designs, right? like the previous models. One of the things that I praised so much about the Legion 5 from last year and the one before that was how nice it looked as a regular laptop. You could bring it to work, pull it out, and no one would bat an eye because it looks like a regular work device but just has gaming capabilities under the hood. That is a good look to me. And here's the thing, I think a lot of people think that. And I think Lenovo knows that a lot of people think that. 
Lenovo has two products, Legion 5, Legion 7, that are so close to each other in terms of performance. You can get RTX 3080s for both of them. They're so close in performance. So how do you split them apart? As Lenovo, you want everyone to buy the more expensive one, right? Who's gonna buy that if this thing is so good and looks just the same? How do you do it? You make this one look derpier. You make this one look like the gamer kid one. And now the people with the money who can afford the more expensive one will buy that one instead of this one. I'm just saying, I don't like seeing it. Okay, the third concern I have about this device is in regards to the trackpad. So this trackpad has been shifted over to the left quite a lot. And if you're just playing games with the WASD keys, your palm will most definitely be rubbing on this touchpad constantly. You have to turn it off. You have to disable the trackpad when you're using the WASD keys for games because otherwise you're just picking up false movements from your palm constantly. But even if you're using this thing as a typing device or some kind of work or productivity device, you will constantly be rubbing your palms accidentally on this touchpad. And I don't think the software is good enough to do all the palm rejection it needs. Like, look at this thing. The left side of this trackpad is underneath the S key. This is so far over to the left. I've never seen anything like this. So if you're someone who depends on the touchpad while you're typing, or you, I don't know, for whatever reason, don't like turning it off while you're playing games, it is definitely an issue. You can work around it, but I'm just putting it out there. For the people that depend on trackpads, this is what we have. A very strangely positioned trackpad. The tracking is good and the click mechanics are great. It's just the positioning is weirdly shifted over to that one side. Uh, the keyboard's also good. You got some nice lighting controls and you also have the function like fan controls, which I always like to see, as well as lighting on the power button that adjusts to the kind of profile that you're in, something that not a lot of other devices do. The fan noise is very acceptable. Software is pretty clean. I do still wish that they'd give better control of the fans. Like I want to be able to adjust those fan curves, but maybe it's a little too sweaty for them. You also have dynamic power routing for the CPU and GPU, as well as a MUX switch. And of course the ports. Lenovo does their ports really well in their devices. They're rear mounted. So you just keep all your cables and stuff away from your workspace. You keep your left and right clean. I always like seeing that. Uh, and there's also a hardware switch, like an actual kill switch for the webcam. It disables the physical connection on the inside. So for the people that want that privacy, instead of just like a little slider thing, it's like an actual kill switch for the device. So just straight up disconnect the camera, which is pretty nice. Okay, so that's this device. Truthfully, I think this is a really good device for a lot of people, but they've made some tweaks and adjustments that I personally don't love. And I think uh, some of you guys will probably feel the same way. Okay, that's the Legion 5 Pro. Hope you guys enjoyed it. Thumbs if you liked it, subs if you loved it. See you guys next time.